All right, continuing on with Small World, we're on to turn two. So we start with the first player who has the halflings. Um, what did the other players choose? Well, I did the first two. Um, the third player took these merchant giants, and they scored, a, I think, nine points as well. Um, the last player took the wealthy uh, white ladies. Um, they only had six tokens, but they get plus seven coins after the first turn or seven victory points. So they scored, I believe, ten, and they, they should be in the lead. Um, the white ladies have a cool special ability where when they go and decline, nobody can attack their location. So they kind of keep persisting and getting you points. So they decided to go that route. All right, back over the halflings. Okay, so what you do is you leave one on, on your second turn, you know, and, and onwards. You leave one token in each space. You grab the rest. In this case, I've got three, five, six, seven. And then you go start conquering again. Well, they want, the halflings want this mountain space. It's a good defensive location for them. Um, they want this interior space here um, because with their holes in the grounds and mountains, well, that should score them points a while, for a while. Okay, that leaves them two. Um, their options are, hmm, they can take this space here for and not have to roll the, uh, the conquest die, or they could try and take... Um, another space, but I think they're going to go there. They're going to take that uh, that free space down there. And that will do it. So I will redeploy my troops. I like having two there. Um, this space is pretty much safe, so I'll put two there. Three up there. I think I'm good. So I'm going to score three, four, five, six, six victory points. Okay. Not as impressive as the other players, but I also think they have a more defensible position and have an ability to expand. So we'll give them their six victory points. And we'll go over to the Mounted Barbarians. They will pull up all their troops. They lost a couple of troops up here to the Giants. The Giants thought, eh, we got to knock them down a bit, and they did. Um, so now they only have five troops in, in hand. So what do they want to do here? Well, they want to get as many territories as they can. Um, they, they would like to cut down the giants, but the giants, it would cost them four to take one territory. I don't know that they particularly want to do that. Um, they're going to go for a mountain space here. That'll cost them three. And, you know, they're going to go... Uh, for a mountain space up here, and they're going to have to roll the die and hope for a one or better. They do not. So then I'll place them in any region, and we'll put them uh, here, over here. Uh, defense. They can't redeploy, um, and they're going to score one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight victory points. Okay. All right. And I'll pause it for now. Okay. Um, the third player is the Giants. They went and expanded. I think they took two more regions. They scored 12 points, so they're pretty happy. And now we get to the fourth player who has made a decision, relatively early one, and that's to go into decline with his white ladies. They don't have many tokens. They're probably only going to get one region. So they would only score four points. Not a real good you know, thing to do at this point. Um, so they're going into decline. When you do go into decline, you get rid of your special token, you flip your race over, okay? And then you take, make sure there's only one piece left in each region you occupy, and you flip them over to show they're in decline. Um, now, the white ladies have a special ability in that um, they uh, cannot be defeated, so they'll continue to score points. Nobody can go in there and take them down. Okay, the negative, of course, about going in decline, you know, unless you have a special ability, is you lose your, you in essence, skip your turn. Um, now, you still collect victory points. In this case, they'll get three for their three areas, but, you know, that's the price you pay. Um, they had a good, I think they scored 12 points last turn or 10 points, so they're not too unhappy, and they need to do this because they need a better race. Um, to, uh, to score more. Okay, so 
that's it for the second round. Um, on to round three. All right, so the fourth player decided for their race to take the Corrupt Skeletons. It was the top race, so they didn't have to pay any victory points. Um, the Skeletons, for every two regions they conquer, they get a bonus troop at the end of the turn. Being corrupt means every time they lose a region to another player, they get a, they get a buck from them, so it's expensive to uh, attack the Corrupt Skeletons. All right, they got 10 total points. They thought about what to do here. They feel the Giants are in the lead right now. Um, it's either the Giants or the Mounted Barbarians, but they're pretty sure it's the Merchant Giants. They collect double points for their regions. Um, so they, they want to take them out. Um, so they come on the edge of the board. Cost them three tokens to kill this Giant. Cost them three more to kill that Giant. Three more to kill this Giant. So they've killed three. They want to get one more because that'll give them... They've already got one bonus troop. They'd like to get a second. Um, they're going to go down here. Um, now they're going to need a total of three troops to take that. They only have one. So they need a two or a three on the conquest die. They don't get it. Um, so these guys go back here. Um, but they're going to get a bonus troop. I'll pull, take that out. Um, and they're going to score. So they're going to score uh, one, two, three... Is that it? Three regions? Yeah, three regions. So only three points. They get three for the, the ladies over there, the white ladies. So they're going to get six bucks or six victory points, and they get two bonus tokens. All right. All right, we're on turn four. The halflings chose not to go in decline. Um, they're in a good defensive position. They kind of like just not skipping a turn and collecting points. That might be a mistake, though. We'll see. Um the Barbarians, though, they are going to go into decline. You know, they can take a region. They can still score a healthy nine points, which is pretty decent. But with these Skeletons up here, they're just going to come down and and tear through them. Um, so they're going to go into decline. So, again, we'll flip over the Barbarian token, discard the special ability. And we remove any excess units. It's only one per space. And they all flip over to show they're in decline. It's good to be in decline if you're in good if you have good defensive positions. It makes it much less much less of a target. Um, so anyway, they're still going to score points. They're going to score uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're going to get eight eight victory points, which is still a good score for being in decline. So they are not unhappy with that. Uh, and we'll go over to the Giants, who I think also have to go and decline at this point. All right, so player two chose the Marauding Gypsies again from the top. This seems a pretty powerful combo to them. Um, they get 11 troops. The Marauding means they, they go ahead and they do their initial round of conquests. Uh, and then they pull all their excess troops back in hand and then do more conquests. So it's kind of a neat ability here. I um, think they can score some good points. Let's see if they can. Uh, so they want to take out, at this point, you know, their competition is going to be the Skeletons and those Giants. So I think, so the Skeletons and the Giants are in de decline. Um, they're going to choose a race next. So I think coming over here... And maybe taking a shot at some of these these skeletons is a good deal. So they're going to put three tokens here and kill this giant. They're going to put three tokens here to take out the skeleton. It's going to cost them four. To, now one of these skeletons are dead. The other goes back in their hand. You don't, you don't ever lose more than one piece. Okay, they have one token left. Um, boy, where do they want to go here? Um, oh, before they do conquest, I'm sorry, they're marauding. Before they do their conquest roll, they take all their pieces back in hand. This is their big advantage here. That's a big one, really. Um, yeah, they want to knock out, I believe, these skeletons down here. That's going to cost them five. Three, four, five. But they'll do it. So... Kill one, one goes in their hand. That leaves them three. Um, mm -hmm. 
Well, they don't want to take out their own pieces down here. Uh, they're declining. They could go up, try and conquest roll up here, or take this guy out here. Um, what do they think's better? I think it's better to go down here. So they're gonna flip him out of the way, kill that lost tribe to him, take that last spot, and then they'll tally up our victory points. One, two, three, four, five. Plus our Barbarians, which are going to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're going to get a nice 12 uh, victory points. So a good turn for them. Okay, so the fourth player decided to go into decline with the Skeletons. Um, they were beaten up badly by the Sorcerers and Gypsies. However, he got bonus points for that because they were corrupt. So it wasn't too bad. However, he can only have one race in decline at a time. So they had to discard the um, white ladies. I'm not sure where I put them. Oh, over here. Okay, so the white ladies are done. They lose those spaces up there. Um, but there was a reason they did that, and even though that was painful to do. Um, there's these cursed pixies here. Um, the curse means you get no bonus for that race. Um, so that's not a good deal. And if you try and skip it, you have to pay three victory points to do so. Um, there's two ahead of it, but the halflings um, were able were able to go and decline at the end of their turn because they were stout halflings. That was their special ability. So they're going to pick one of these two, and they wanted to be ahead of the curve here in case if somebody else went and declined. So that guarantees they'll get one of these two races and not have to take the cursed race. So, um, all right, so we're going to turn six here, and we'll see which one of these two. I think it'll be these two. I don't think their halflings are going to want to pay three. Uh, to skip them. That would be five victory points just to get down here to the hordes of pygmies. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I like the hordes of pygmies. We also got heroic homunculi. That's kind of a... I like saying that. Heroic homunculi. Okay. Alright, so the halfling player, or the first player, went with the bivouacking trolls. Um, they skipped the priestess, put a victory coin on there. I'm sure I put a one and not a ten. Um... Mainly because they only had seven for the priestesses. And their they're fortified versus their special ability doesn't really go well together. So the fortified priestess is not really, I, I think, a good combo. So they, they gave a victory point to take these trolls who are bivouacking, <laughs> bivouacking trolls. So they took these four spots, um, killing some, I think, some barbarians and some... Um, I think some skeletons, in decline skeletons. Um, but they have a, a troll layer and a bivouac plus units. So, I mean, their defense, they're virtually impervious here. Um, even with the sorcerer's special ability, they would have to expend all their sorcerers to take one spot. I don't think that's worth it for them, but we'll see. 